Hey there, Air Force Worthy Daisy here. I have been working on something for a couple of days now and I thought it was something that I can just kind of do seamlessly, but at this point I'm convinced that I needed extra help and it was a good thing. Uh, what I did was I needed to export my calendar items from the native app on the Samsung S4, so Samsung Galaxy S4. And so what I did was I was unable to just do it directly and sync it from this to my Google Calendar. <laughs> Not easily anyway, and there might be other ways to do it. So if there are, please help me in the comments. Just leave a comment and let us know. But anyway, I use iCal Import Export. And this app was a lifesaver because what it did was it allowed me to select the different calendars that I wanted to export from this device and then I uploaded it or exported it, saved it into a file. Then I um, emailed it and on my new device, I went ahead and I opened that email on my new device and just tapped the file. It opened with no problem and it asked me where I wanted to save it. I saved it to my Google Calendar. So all my updates, um, all my, everything that I had saved prior to was there. One quick tip is, you know, when you log in to devices with different email addresses, also those calendars can be associated with those email addresses. So you might have several, I had six active, did not know that, but um, now I know. So knowing that uh, going forward, I'm gonna try to make sure to stick to one email address and one calendar. Uh, of course, Google Calendar is going to be the new calendar for me because it's going to be in the cloud and it'll be easier in the future. But yeah, this some of the events were saved directly to this device. It wasn't in the cloud or anything that I can easily extract. So yes, iCal was a lifesaver. So I recommend it highly. And this is a quick little app tip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Swarthy Daisy, bye.